Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Red Short webinar. Today's webinar will be a short common sense awareness brief on online shopping for the 2020 holiday season. A link to a related article will be made available in the chat box. The Latin word caveat emptor means buyer beware. This has always been the case, but now even more important. The 2020 holiday season is upon us and many global and domestic economies are preparing for the subsequent shopping. The 2020 buying season is much, much different. Only a year ago, everything was quote unquote normal. Now, not so normal. Why? Because of Corona, and I'm not talking about the Mexican beer. Our current shopping environment has drastically changed due to the corona pandemic lockdowns and the fear of virus infections. This has created a, an uptick of buying online. It is estimated that, that this will be the largest online e-commerce holiday season ever. As tradition on Black Friday once was, consumers will not be standing outside brick and mortar stores waiting for the latest deals in the same way they have in the past seasons. If you remember the Fridays after Thanksgiving and the mayhem that ensued, now they are going to be, use, be using new web-based services to find the best prices and a lot of times guaranteed free delivery. They're gonna be checking their reward point balances and hopefully using their loyalty programs to gain some discounts and other perks just for being a member. And this is going to increase the holiday spending budgets. Is this good or is this bad? Our colleagues at the McAfee research team recently found evidence that online cybercrime continues to increase. They observed an average of 419 threats per minute in the second quarter of 2020. This is an increase of almost 12% from the first quarter. So first quarter, no corona. Second quarter is when the whole world kind of took off with the, with the corona pandemic. With internet activity set to rise for both consumers and criminals, there is an added concern of whether consumers are taking cybersecurity threats as seriously as they should, with key differences seen across generational groups. So 79% 70, of those 65 and older believe there's a greater risk due to COVID-19, while 70% of those 18 to 24 state the same. So, they, so we have the older folks and the younger folks believing that the COVID-19 is, is a huge threat. But what's interesting is 27% of the respondents ages uh, 18 to 24 report checking if checking the email or text messaging discounts and deals that are sent to them and check to see if they're authentic, which is interesting at 27%. McAfee's marketing unit warns that, quote, with results showing the growing prevalence of online shopping, consumers need to be aware of how cyber criminals are looking to take advantage and take the necessary steps to protect themselves and their loved ones this holiday season. So let's look at those numbers again. Older people are worried about the COVID virus causing more cyber risks. Older folks are less likely to conduct online shopping, yet the new shopping public, which is the 18 to 24 year olds, and we believe are more at risk since only 20% of these individuals actually check and verify the shopping and the shopping links. Those are not good prevention percentages, but they're great percentages for cyber criminals. This creates almost a perfect storm for cyber criminals. 36% of the consumers admit that they are aware of cyber risk, but they still plan to increase their holiday online shopping. This less than cautious approach is further seen when respondents are offering deals and discounts with 43% quote unquote overall do check to see Black Friday or Cyber Monday emails and check messages sent 
which are authentic and trustworthy. So that's better than the 27% of the young people who, who don't check and verify, but that's still not a very good percentage of people that are verifying the links that they're getting. So give you a case in point, our 20 something daughter, as many in her age group, like cosmetic products. Kaylee Cosmetics, who's Kaylee Jenner, is a high, very high quality and very much in demand product line with this age group. Her current Grinch product line was recently announced and with hours sold out. So a bad guy can send out Grinch discounts with a direct path to purchase a Grinch product. A desperate shopper will likely click this link to be the first one in line. So how many 20-somethings or parents of 20-somethings click on a very tempting lure to get this newest fad? And yes, I bought some Kaylee products, but no, I didn't fall for any of these tricks. At least I don't think so. Once you buy a product online, the magical internet starts bombarding you with advertisements. Do you ever wonder why you start seeing ads with products that you just purchased and or just talked about? Yes, there is money in tracking online sales and knowing what you want to buy. But the question is, is it real or is it fake? Cyber criminals and cyber hackers bank on individuals' gullibility and often capitalize on the in current environment like COVID, lockdowns, and online shopping. Our middle son has his favorite NFL team, so dad bought him a cool NFL jacket for the holidays. It's all, already arrived, so the purchase was legitimate, thank God, and it came from the NFLshop.com website. But now, every time I look at my smartphone, I see pop-up ads for sportswear and military gear. So why military gear? The jacket was specifically in the NFL's military line, and our son is in the military. So now I'm getting both sportswear ads and military-type equipment ads popping up. So common sense is instinct. Enough of it is genius. I use that in my years of training within the law enforcement. Everyone has common sense. Everyone has different levels of common sense, but everyone has that. So you have to use your common sense. If something looks too good to be true, it's probably fake. Bad guys use sales and quote unquote free lures to get people to click on malicious links and then malware gets pushed into their network, computer, or their smartphones. They know that a high percentage of people will be shopping online this holiday season. They know the percentages I just mentioned. Many criminal hackers are actually very, very smart people. Another common sense saying is, haste makes waste. Please take the time to check out holiday deals with that company and and check with their uh, official website. That way you can verify if that link that was sent to you or that email that was sent to you is real or not. So you have to take the time to do that. And don't click on that direct link to free stuff because it's not free and it's probably malicious. And by the way, as you see on the slide, don't use deals are us, it's fake. The graphs in the pie chart in this slide indicate our red x-ray collection and analysis, which, which shows NFL.com has been spoofed and shared in the underground. These graphs show 495 hits in Pastebin, where many cyber criminals post and share stolen information. The US Better Business Bureau has up to 10 tips for safe online shopping. One, protect your computer. Install firewalls, antivirus, anti-spyware uh, software. Check for and install the latest updates always and run virus scans regularly. And of course, use Red X-Ray to help proactively support your computer and connected network defenses. Check a site's security setting before entering financial data, such as your credit card, expiration date, and th the three-digit security code, which is on the back side of your credit card. 
If the site is secure, the URL or the web address on the payment page should start with a HTTPS colon two backslashes. That's the security feature there. So three, shop tr trustworthy websites. Like I said before, take the time to check, check out what the quote unquote deal is. If possible, look for a Better Business Bureau accredited seal on the websites. They a lot of times will validate a, a, a true website and, and you can know that you know it, it's a legitimate site. Or you can actually go one step further and check that business through the BBB.org, which is the B, uh, Better Business Bureau uh, site. You could check that company through them. Protect your personal information always with, with anything that you do. Read a site's privacy policy and understand what personal information is being requested and how it'll it is being used actually how many of us really do that when you're making a purchase online haste makes waste take your time never enter that information on unsolicited emails if a site lacks a privacy policy it's most likely a red flag the site could be used to sell your information without your permission beware of too good to be true deals like i said if if it's too good to be true it's probably fake so it's a hassle to kind of go through some of these steps but if you take the time to do that you should be safe always beware of phishing legitimate businesses do not send emails claiming problems with an order an account or a package to lure the buyer into revealing financial information if you receive such an email the Better Business Bureau recommends that you contact the number on the website where the purchase was originally made to confirm what the problem is. That way you need to talk to someone directly and verify what the problem is. Just don't click or give your financial information over that email. That's called phishing. Pay with the credit card. Under US federal law, you can dispute the charges if you don't receive an item. Shoppers always have dispute rights if there are any unauthorized charges on the card and many card users have a zero liability policies if someone steals and uses your credit card check your credit card statement regularly for unauthorized charges and never wire money to someone you don't know it's another scam too um, so let the buyer beware keep document always keep documentation of your order that you conduct online save a copy of the confirmation page of your order or emails confirming the order until you receive the item and are satisfied obtain a tracking number for shipment and save them always save them if you need the product before the holidays find out when the seller intended to ship it and if possible how it will be shipped the tracking number can help you find a lost order if an order can be picked up contact free at a brick and mortar location, consider this option as well. And last, know your rights. Federal law requires orders made by phone, mail, or online be shipped by the date promised or within 30 days if no delivery was stated. If goods aren't shipped on time, shoppers can cancel and demand a refund. Consumers also may reject merchandise if it is defective and or misrepresentative. So know your rights. So here we are in the holiday season of 2020. The pandemic has not gone away. Lockdowns are currently underway in many states in the US. Just yesterday, the Dow Jones reached a historic new level. So the economy is not too bad considering that we are sti still dealing with a pande pandemic. So what does that mean? People are still gonna be shopping, except they're not gonna be going to the stores, they're gonna be online. A vaccine is, is coming soon, but until then, online shopping will continue. Red Sky Alliance theorizes that this shopping trend will be the new normal. So with the holidays here, we wish everyone a, a happy and safe season. Please be careful with cyber shopping, and if you need any assistance, we are always here to help in any way. I'd like to thank you all for joining us today. For our friends in the United States, happy Thanksgiving. If you have any questions regarding this topic brief today, please get in touch with Jay McKee at wapaclabs.com and join us 
next Wednesday, December 2nd, for our next Red Short. If you missed any previous Red Short report webinars, you can find them at redskyalliance.org backslash red shorts. If you are not a Red Sky Alliance member, you, you'll have to sign up, but it's free. And the membership will get you access to all types of Red Sky Alliance contact. Have a great week. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Be safe in your online shopping, and we'll see you all next week.